live from the studio. It's another surprise. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Media Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, score boy. In this episode, get ready, viewers, to give me to go into your parents' dresser upstairs, whoever, and get uh, make a three hundred dollar check out to me. I'm just kidding. Don't really do that. I'm I'm only kidding. It's just a spoof. Of, it's a reference joke from an old show. That's this board game is based on. In this episode, the soup song. Super super sale. Super super soup. Super soup song. Soupy says the soupy sales game. The board game. Quick to the board game room. But first, let's do the mouse. Let's do the mouse. To the board game room. <laughs> Fang, stop, Fang. <laughs> Fang. Car plaque. All right, here we go. It's a soupy sales game, the board game. <laughs> so now, in this game, you're gonna get this board here, the zany crazy. Funny looking board, and uh, you're gonna get uh, these play market pieces here, okay? And you can use uh, I don't know, any player token that you want. Go take any pie, okay? So, I'm gonna tell you where they start. And it's got, it's funny, it's got soupy sales jokes here. Okay, don't play in the street. You might get that run-down feeling. Or, don't talk about carousels. You know how those things get around. Or well, if your biscuits look pink, maybe your Krillab line. da 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 Krillab line. All right, so now uh, you're going to get these um, cards here. All right, I'll let them out of the bag here. Get the spinner here. Okay, so. And uh, that's basically it. So. Now, with this game here, hold on a second. <clears throat> you're going to get these cards. And uh, they're of all different kinds, different pies. So you're going to get, you know, lemon. You're going to get lemons, cherries, banana cherries, and lemons. Okay. So banana pie, cherry pie, lemon pie. All right. So um, let me give you the instructions. Uh, the spinner. You can take it out. I know I punched it out before. But I probably take the back on. <laughs> God. Well, I'm keeping the game, so it's not like, you know. Anyway, so notice how you have these spaces here. Any pie, cherry pie, uh, lemon pie, and you get the banana pie. All right, so any of these pies, give up one pie, and you got hit. <laughs> then you got to give up one pie, give up one pie. He almost looks a little bit like Jerry Lewis, <laughs> or something like that. That's why I thought at first. I'm like, no, no, I, 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 I knew right away it was Super Sales. I mean, you know, you get that big tie right there and that hat and right, that smile. I, I, I know it's Super Sales. So, um. 
Now you got all these cards here and you're gonna set the game up like so. Uh, the object of the game is to travel around the board collecting your three different pie cards. Enter the, the pie tossing inner path, okay? Get in position and toss your piece, your, your, your pieces. Toss your pies at Soupy, okay? It's a crazy zany game of pie tossing, and who else but me would like a game like that? Because I love slapstick and throwing pies, all right, pie fights, especially lemon, lemon meringue. Those are the best ones. Those are classic, okay, pies to toss at people in a, tie, a pie fight, okay? So now, preparation. You're going to pop out the spinner and, you know, or keep the spinner there or whatever. Um, and all pie cards from the bottom, you know, from the platform now. Separate pie cards into three piles. Lemon pies, banana pies, and cherry pies, okay? So. Now, um. I'm not going to start singing the, uh. The Soupy Sales song or whatever, because I think it was just a piano song. I forget. But anyway, it's it. It's a piano musical interlude. But, um. So, but I, I I had Soupy Sales on DVD or something like that. Yeah, I got the Soupy Sales DVD. And, uh, yeah, it's got, like, like pretty much all the episodes on it. But he went off the air, though, because, um, he told, he told the kids to go upstairs to the parents' room to get their money and make a check out for $300 or something like that, a certain amount of money, and mail it to Soupy. <laughs> but anyway, that's all history now. So, but, uh, um, don't worry, I don't expect that from you. I was only kidding around before doing a spoof off the call from Soupy Sales. But anyway, it's it. I just, you know, it would just be nice if you just, you know, watch my show. Give me a thumbs up, a like, you know, and nice comments down below and subscribe. That's all. So, that's pretty much basically it. So now, um... You're going to place them, you're going to place the pie cards. Okay, so you're going to have three piles of pie cards. Lemon pies, banana pies, and cherry pies. And place them to one side of the board. Okay, each player selects a colored pie disc mover and places it on the go space. Like so, like I did. So this game, I guess, is like from, you know, I don't know, one or two to uh, two to six players. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Alright, so there's all your pie trays, tokens, you know? You put them in the ghost space. Put these on the side here. Okay, so... Lemon, banana, and cherry. Alright, so you got those there like that. Okay, so the game should look like that. Okay, great, cool. So now, playing the game. Moving around the outer path of the board, collecting pie cards... Okay, you're going to um, do that, and players spin to see who goes first. High spinner goes first, and play continues and turn to the left. Player must move his or her moving piece to the, the, the full amount of space indicated in the spinner. Starting from go spaces uh, space, you must move around the outer path, okay, like Monopoly style. And uh, each time you land by exact count on a pie space, you take the matching pie card of that space and place it face up on the table. Okay, so if you land on a pie space, whatever pie space you land on, you gotta take a card. So I land on lemon, so lemon pie, okay? So now... Um, if you land on a cherry pie space, you take a cherry pie card, a banana pie space, banana card, a lemon space, lemon card, okay? So now a player needs only one card for each kind of pie, you know, therefore cannot pick up a second card when he lands on, when, when you land on a pie space, showing a pie you already have. So at no time may a player hold two pies of a kind. You only have to get one pie of each kind, okay? So now two players can occupy an outer board space, pie space, 
at the same time, and both may take a pie card then, okay? So now if they don't already have that particular kind, all right? So now when a player lands on a corner space showing Soupy Sales being hit by a pie, which is pretty funny, right? Okay, so now he must, you must give up one of your pie cards. So while you're going around the board, you're collecting a pie card that you land on. If you already have it, you leave it. You can't have doubles or triples. But you need one, three cards, one of each, okay? And that's it. So now, if somebody else lands on the same space as you do, then you could share space, okay? And you both took a card that you don't have, all right? So now, um, but when, a, when you land on a corner, though, you know, you must give up a pie card, okay? Any one that you want when you land on these corners. So it says give up one pie. Okay, so now... When a player lands on the go space, okay, you take any one pie, okay, so you take any one pie card that you don't already have, and however, you must land by an exact count on the go space, not just pass over it, okay, so you gotta land on an exact count on the space in order to collect another pie card that you don't have, you know, but if you have three already, that's it. If you have three already and you, you got around here, then it says three different pies needed to enter. Otherwise, continue. Then you got to go back around trying to collect the, the pie again. So now once you get in this pie space area, I'll tell you what happens with that now. So moving into inner path and tossing a pie at Soupy. Okay. When a player has collected all three different pie cards, you're ready to move into the inner path, pie path. If you have all three pie cards, the player continues. You can continue moving around the outer path until you reach and enter through the black space marked three different pies needed to enter. Okay? That's that space right there. So now, um, uh, you're... You're now in the pie tossing area of the board. Whenever you land on a lemon, cherry, or banana pie, or on a soupy, uh, on, a, on a space marked any pie, okay, any pie, or any other pie here, then you have to, what happens now is that um, you can toss any of the three pies at soupy, okay? So... When, so that that's what happens when when you land on the lemon, cherry, or banana pie on a space, or um, or any pie. You may, if you wish, try to toss a pie at Soupy. Okay, a player landing on an any pie space can toss any pie of the three pies that you have at Soupy. A player can never toss a pie at Soupy from a blank pie space. Okay. The blank pie spaces are here. That's a blank pie space because it's on the pie. That's an any pie space. It says any pie. You can toss banana, lemon, cherry. But these are blank pie spaces and you can't toss a pie at soupy, okay? So now, um, a player can never toss a pie at soupy from a blank pie space. If the player chooses to wait till he has a better tossing position, he may. Now, the player decides when they want to toss a pie and when they don't want to toss a pie. But they must toss the particular pie that matches the pie space that you landed on in the inner pie space, okay? So now, in this game, tossing is done by flicking the mover pie disc with the finger, uh, third finger and thumb, as one would shoot a checker, okay? And at the at the large picture of Soupy on the board, okay. So now, uh, the player then tosses the pie by flicking the pie disc at Soupy. All right. So you're basically doing one of these. You 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 hold you you're going like this, like that. And it didn't hit Soupy. All right. It didn't land on him. 
or you could, you know, go, you just got to do like, like a little flick. All right. So however you want to flick it, flick it on the soupy. Okay. So now, um, in this game, so, uh, hitting soupy with pie disc, if the pie disc lands on any part of the picture of soupy sales from the top of the soupy's hat, uh, to the tips of his tie, okay, uh, the player wins that pie card, and he turns it face down, he never gives it up, it is his until the end of the game, the player returns his pie disc to the space from which he had flicked it, spins and goes again, okay, so then, when you make it around here, you go around here like that, you go around, and then, okay, so you get to flick it more pies at him, so now, um, uh, missing Soupy with the pie disc. Okay, if the pie disc misses the picture of Soupy, the player must give up that pie card by putting it back on its proper card pile, and then he must return his disc to the go start sign over here, okay, on the outer path. He does not take a pie at the go, and then he must retravel the outer board and try to acquire the missing pie card by landing on its matching pie space, and then you don't have to acquire any other pies except the one that you lost in the toss, okay? So now in order to re-enter the inner pie path, you got to do that, okay? Find that pie. Now, if during the, your trip around the outer board, the player lands on a, corny, uh, a, a corner soupy space, he must give up one of his face-up pie cards. And if he only has face-down pie cards, the player does not have to give up one, okay? So now after missing Soupy, player only has to reacquire his missing pie card to re-enter the inner path through entry space and try to get Soupy a given a pie. Special rules. Players on the inner path follow this path to its ending and then follow the arrow back again. If necessary, player can keep on going back and forth on the inner path. He only goes back onto the outer board if he misses a toss and at Soupy and needs another pie, okay? An inner pie space can only be occupied by one player at a time. If a player lands on an occupied space, he moves the pie disc that is there back to the black entry space and places his own pie disc on that pie space. Winning the game. First player to hit Soupy with all three pies, lemon, banana, and cherry, wins the game. And that's the Soupy Sales game. The board game. Now let's go see what I think about the game. Alright, so, final thoughts. Now, what do I think about this game? Wow, 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 wow. Wait a second. Hold off for now. Hey! Let's do the mouse, yeah! Alright. <laughs> do the mouse with me! Oh, man. I missed that show. That show is great. I watched the reruns. I got it on DVD. Um, sheesh, a long time ago. Uh, Soupy Sales, great show. You know, God bless Soupy Sales. Soupy Sales always rest in peace. All right. Uh, you had you had White Fang. That's White Fang trying to grab at him right now. White Fang. You had Black Tooth. Uh, Pookie the Lion. That's Pookie the Lion over there. And then you had um, Hippie the Hippo. Then you had this crazy neighbor guy who was like a zombie or something like that. I forget his name. But anyway, it's if you know, write nice and down in the comments down below. You know. And uh, he was funny though. And then, but he was a laugh and a half soupy sales. Very cool. A lot of slapstick comedy. He did his, um, you know, sketch comedy a little bit. And then, um, then, then, then he had like a lot of like, you know, jokes and practical jokes that he did dances. That guy can dance, man. He's pretty cool. And, uh, 
did, did a lot of cool, funny stuff, you know, on the show. It was an old black and white TV show from back in the uh, 50s, mostly the 60s, something like that. But um, if you had the chance at the time, uh, check out Soupy Sales. Great comedian. Guarantee you love him. Really cool. Uh, really cool uh, comedy and slapstick. And uh, that's great. But, you know, also this game here is pretty cool, too. And uh, the Soupy Sales game is cool. It's fun. You're going around like like Monopoly, around the outer border of the uh, the game, you know. And uh, it it's pretty cool because, um, you know, you just got to land on the card of a, of a pie that you don't have, collect three pies, and then you can get into the inner part of the board and then try to take a shot at, you know, um, Soupy Sales by landing one of your pie coins onto, you know, tokens onto, uh, the picture of Soupy Sale, of Soupy Sale, so, you know, and that, that, that's basically it, and the, the first person to get all your pies on there, you know, so, like, when you, when you get one on there, you get cherry, and then you get lemon, you get banana, you know, then that's it, but I made up a little house rules, too, and you get, you can get all three on there, you know, and then you get th three pies or something like that, like, uh, cherry, banana, cherry, you know, lemon or whatever. I don't know. I got I got to try to work on that house rule. <laughs> but but it's pretty cool, though. I like it. It's a cool, fun game. I'm glad I got it. And it's in my collection. And, uh, I'm a collector, so I like to collect, you know, games of old TV shows, too. Old comedians, whatever. But that's pretty much basically it. I think he has two other games, too. Super Sales. He's got a racing game. He's got to race it up all the way to the top of the mountain. Like a uh, snow mountain or something like that. Or something like that. And then he's got a card game, like my Batman card game, my small Batman card game, you know, from my deal or something like that, and then it's got the styrofoam back into it, but, um, you know, if you see any of those games, pick them up if you're interested, they're kind of cool, but anyway, that's it, so, that's, play the Soupy Sales game, my deal, the board game, that's the Soupy Sales game, the board game, that's it for today, everybody, looks like this game is over, Board game freak out.